Welcome back to the Michigan Business Beat, brought to you on the Michigan Business Network. Chris Holman here, and we're coming to you from our studios at the Capital Region International Airport. We're going to run down towards Detroit right now, uh, even though Convergence Networks is located in uh, REO Town in Lansing, Michigan. We're going to spend time with Rod Sanders. He is the uh, Senior Business Development uh, Manager. Rod, thanks for taking time. We appreciate it. How are you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. Excited to be here. Thanks for having me on. Well, it's great to have you on. Let's let's remind everybody uh, about Convergence and and uh, especially your Michigan branch here. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, so we're a security first IT firm. Uh, we partner with organizations uh, to secure their data. Uh, essentially, we make sure that the technology that's used within their organization aligns with the growth aspirations. So. Okay, so and I, I as a disclaimer, we have used you guys for a long time, uh, yep. back to when before, long before you were convergence, um, and and so we've been extremely satisfied with your product. So I'll give you that stamp of approval there, Rod. How's that? We appreciate that. We definitely appreciate that. It means a lot coming from you, Chris. Good. Well, thank you. Um, okay, so so give us a, a little run of the landscape. What are you seeing on the IT landscape these days? Uh, you know, that, that's a great question. And, and the biggest thing that we're seeing right now is that, uh, you know, businesses are looking for a partnership really between their internal IT team and like an external uh, managed provider. So, you know, they want to keep um, their identity, the core of the business, uh, you know, with people that, that really understand uh, the, the company. But then as far as like a lot of the day-to-day -day tasks, the one-offs, the projects, uh, that's usually where we see that we can come in and help folks. And we're seeing that being a trend, um, not only here in Michigan, but nationally. Um, you know, they want to bring someone in to, again, you know, handle the bigger projects, not tie up bandwidth um, so that the, uh, the employees can really focus on strategy, big picture, um, a lot of research, development, and, and things of that nature. So um, th those those are the biggest things. No, you're absolutely right. Data management and, and security, uh, in effect, have become bigger and bigger parts of companies to where, on occasion, it becomes the tail wagging the dog. And right. you got to make sure that you don't allow your business to do that. Absolutely. 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 All right. So uh, AI huge topic right now in your world and, and everywhere throughout the business community. Exactly. What does it mean uh, for a business to be uh, AI ready? Uh, it's, it's really a, a loaded, a loaded question, but uh, you know, being AI ready uh, means that a business has the necessary infrastructure, data management practices and cultural mindset really to effectively implement and leverage artificial intelligence technologies. So, you know, making sure that, you know, we're not just, you know, throwing it into our day to day. Um, we always encourage our partners to, hey, you know, let's do a test run of this first uh, before we implement it across the entire organization. But, you know, we all know that, you know, AI can drive really significant improvements when it comes to efficiency. So, you know, when it comes to decision making, uh, customer experience, all of those things, AI is really, a, uh, I would say, an easy button. Uh, but it, it also, uh, you know, opens up some some risk, you know, when we come to uh, bad actors and hackers. So, you know, we want uh, businesses really to, to take a, a deep look at, you know, what data is being implemented into this AI. Um, you know, we want to make sure that it is no uh, personal identification information. You know, you're not giving away, uh, you know, anything when it comes to from a business standpoint, any of your uh, you know, trades or anything like that, um, any proprietary information. So, you know, those are all things that, you know, we really walk alongside, you know, businesses to make sure they have an understanding of, you know, the data that's going in, how it's being protected, and, you know, where the data lives within the business as well. Well, and AI is not a one size fits all. So there's right. a lot of different right. circumstances. Don't just think you're popping a, a piece in here. Listen, when you're out talking to business leaders, what the uh, what, are, what are their biggest concerns right now? Uh, the, the biggest concern is, uh, I would say, cybersecurity. Um, you know, it's a, it's an ever-changing landscape. And um, realistically, a lot of businesses, you know, they're, they're not in a place where uh, they can take on a, a cyber attack. Um, IBM put out a statistic, 60% of small to mid-sized businesses don't make it 
through uh, cyber breaches. So sure, sure. The the biggest uh, concern is, you know, hey, you know, can we manage a risk incident, you know, financially and operationally? Um, a lot of businesses don't know the impact of a breach. So, uh, you know, they, they don't really, uh, they're not thinking through that side of things. Um, and then, you know, also we're, we're thinking about too, are, are we prepared from a leadership standpoint? Do you have an incident, re incident response plan? When something goes wrong, do you know what to do? Because it's not a matter of if it's going to happen, it's, it's when it's going to happen. So, um, unfortunately, since, uh, cybersecurity is so daunting and, and, and overwhelming, many leaders, you know, they don't, they don't want to believe, uh, what what could potentially happen to them. Yeah, it's a, it's a real danger and it's great. Uh, and it helps me sleep at night, quite frankly, to have somebody like Convergence Networks online. Uh, we've been talking with Rob Sanders. Uh, Rod is the uh, Senior Business Development Manager for Convergent Networks. And uh, Rod, again, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. We're gonna be right back. You've been watching the Michigan Business Beat on the Michigan Business Network. I'm Chris Lee.